I started using Pear Deck because I use Google Slides a lot for my direct instruction. So when I plan a lesson, I tend to do it on Google Slides. So the add-on is a nice fit. It, um, I can push out my screen to the student screens. So it's right there in front of them instead of them having to look at the board. Um, and I liked that I can send out questions through the add-on. So it's very interactive. There's a lot of different questions. You question types you can ask on Pear Deck. Like I said, I tend to send the text ones where they write a response, but there's multiple choice, there's yes, no, there's rate it on a scale, um, true, false. So a great variety of types of questions. From joinpd.com. Please enter this code. I will wait. And remember, the code will be on the next several screens too. So if you don't get in right this minute, you can always jump in. Why do I have a quick? Go ahead. I would like you to think about the difference between doing a research, looking for information on the internet, and using a book. I want you just to think for a minute. How is those things different? How are they the same? Just thinking for a minute, just thinking, compare and contrast. Using the internet to find information, using books or text to find information. How are they the same? How are they different? Give me a thumbs up when you've got some ideas. Share what they were thinking when they said that. <coughs> what were you thinking, Isnia? Okay, so for the internet, you can just type one thing and you can get multiple answers. Mm -hmm. But for text and book, you have to turn <coughs> pages, search for uh, answers on the <coughs> graph. And, uh, and it's not going to change from today to tomorrow, right? Whereas the internet will keep updating. Good. Um, you can search what you want. So there's a way to search for what you're looking for in the book. You're actually going to have to read the whole thing <laughs> to try to find it. Uh, okay, somebody thinks it's easier to find it on the internet than a book. Different, the internet isn't always true. Anybody want to talk about that? What do you think, Alyssa? Uh, most of the time, the internet, like people upload random stuff and you don't know if it's true or not. So How do you know for sure, right? Publish a web page. Yeah, Anybody. Yes, that's basically Anybody it. can do that. With yeah. books, you have to find a publisher, they have to be willing to spend the money to put it together. But on the internet, anybody can go out there and publish something. My class web page? But it can be dangerous, right? Yeah. I would like you to respond to this question. I want you to write for me what you would say. If you had to explain the lesson to somebody that wasn't here today. So, on the, the box should have popped up, right, for you to respond. I want you to tell me 
How would you explain to somebody that wasn't here today what we just talked about? Like the next day, right? So if they show up tomorrow, you, you would explain it to them, yes. So how can you explain what we just talked about? So I plan a lesson. Um, often I'll have them take notes based on the lesson, push out questions to them after they've talked about it. Um, and at the end you can save the results too, so I can look back and I can see what their responses were. And um, so it's great for formative, as a formative assessment tool.